Hello everyone, my name is Mark Oude Aling. I am the chair of the Best Paper Committee of the IEEE Custom Integrated Circuit Conference or CICC. In this video, we'll give you a sneak preview of some of the best papers at CICC 2022. After two fully virtual years, CICC will be held in a hybrid form from April 24 to April 27 with the physical part located in Newport Beach, California. For the latest information on the conference, please visit the address shown on the screen. It is my honor and privilege to show you pitches of some of our best paper nominees in three different categories. We have five invited, three regular and nine student paper nominees spread out over the different sessions in the conference. In this particular compilation, we will present the following pitches. The session numbers and the currently planned time and date of the presentation are included for your reference. For completeness, here is the full list of nominated papers. All best paper nominees are explicitly indicated as such in the conference program. They have been given non-overlapping time slots, so you can attend them all if you like. These 17 papers form a good sample of recent research results from both industry and academia around the globe and showcase the quality, breadth and depth of the CSC conference. Please join us for a great gathering of students, researchers, industrial leaders and experts worldwide. Get inspired by great ideas, get recharged with great educational tutorials, learn about trends and state-of-the-art developments in IC design. And just as important, meet colleagues and make new friends for life. For now, enjoy these inspiring pitches, and I hope to see you either physically or virtually at CICC 2022. Hello, everyone. My name is Xiaofeng Guo from New Digital Technology and South China University of Technology. In this work, we introduced a 13 bit pipeline IDC that achieves a sampling rate of 625 microsamples per second where no calibration is needed during its operation. Our key innovations include two parts. Firstly, we propose a new trust size structure. Secondly, we introduce a PUT sensitive resistive amplifier. In this work, we propose a new trust size that achieves fast conversion speed at almost no extra hardware cost. This structure also takes advantage of the information from compatible metal stability to show one more bit compared with conventional sun. The rush amplifier is another bottleneck that limits the ADC performance. Previous works have shown open for eyes for high speed data convention, but a significant gain error and the PUT related gain variation limit its dynamic range and the need high cost gain calibration. Close to the has been proposed for accurate gain control, but its bandwidth is, lim is limited. This work introduced the address jump that not only has inverters and switches. The gain variation of this structure is only contributed by the ratio of 2GM. It achieves extremely accurate gain control with high speed. Fabricated in 14 nanometer CMOS technology, our portable ADC achieves a 16.8 dBi SNDR at 625 microsamples per second at only 7 mm for power consumption. We made a total 10 samples over a wide temperature range, and the measurement result shows constant performance. Finally, I would like to invite you to our presentation on April 26. I'm looking forward to your attention. Thank you. Hello, everyone. This is the pitch talk for the CICC invited paper entitled High Speed Digital to Analog Converter Design Towards High Dynamic Range. The digital to analog converter is used in nearly all the electronic systems today. Looking to the future, there are emerging applications from defense sensing to high performance communication systems where they will require the signal to achieve both high dynamic range and wide signal bandwidth at the same time. This new trend really creates a very interesting design problem for the DAC designer to think about how to push the future deck into this new design target. This talk will first address several key design challenges for the deck. A typical deck implementation involves some kind of a switching element, and unfortunately, there are always non idealities that associate with those switching elements. We will examine some of the few mechanisms of those non idealities and how they can impact on the DAC performance in terms of the speed as well as the spurious free dynamic range. To solve those non-idealities, it really takes a holistic approach. 
what architecture can provide a better trade-off, what algorithms can really mitigate those non-idealities, and what circuit technique can really provide a more robust and a better match you know, circuits element. So those are going to be the key discussion point throughout the talk. We will go over some of the recent silicon prototypes developed by our group, just to show you the effectiveness of some of the techniques that we will describe in this talk. With that, I will look forward to seeing you at CICC 2022. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Yong Xinli. I'm a graduate student at the UIUC. Today I'm going to introduce our work on highly stable clock generator. Microcontroller units are omnipresent in almost all of today's electronic systems. They suffer from two significant drawbacks. First, they require crystal oscillators, which take significant board space. Second, many fractional MPLLs are needed to generate various clocks, which incur significant area, power, and complexity penalties. Given these drawbacks, we present a new clock generator architecture in which a fully integrated temperature compensated oscillator, or TCO for short, replaces the big crystal oscillator. And we use open loop fractional dividers in place of the frac MPLLs. Next, let me briefly describe the details, starting with the TCO. At the heart of the TCO is the RRC network, which exhibits the step response shown on the left. By appropriately choosing R and C, it can be shown that across temperature, all the step responses intersect at a fixed voltage, VZTC, after TZTC time. A temperature stable oscillator then can be designed by locking the period of the ring oscillator to be a fixed portion of TZTC. The second contribution of our work is the open loop truly fractional divider. A high frequency clock generated from the TCO output is fed to multimodulus divider controlled by delta sigma modulator, which implements the desired fractional division. The jitter performance is then greatly improved by canceling delta sigma's quantization noise using calibrated digital to time converter or DTC. The prototype was fabricated in 65 nanometer process and it exhibits excellent temperature stability and good long-term stability as indicated by the Allen deviation plot. It can generate uh, uh, output frequencies across very wide range with fine resolution of 24 kilohertz and uh, it shows good period jitter. Thank you for watching. Please see the paper and attend my talk for more details.